is amazing. Then by encoded and authenticated procedures, they verify the order that our forces have been committed to retaliation. This is it. Crew members now arm their bombs, double check their navigation position, and assure that their equipment will be effective in executing the president's order. The critical six trusted men. As our bomber approaches the part of the world outlined in the retaliatory orders, there are those who feel it surely will be destroyed. For those of you who feel our bomber will be easy prey for the enemy, let us introduce you to a unique pair of sidearms, the Hound Dogs. While still beyond the perimeter of defense of the a supersonic missile containing a nuclear warhead, the Hound Dog relies on memory for its actions and is independent of radio or radar control. It cannot be jammed or decoyed. Our missile may streak towards one target, and at the last minute turn and strike another. It may be launched at high altitude, disappear from view, and then sneak in right on the deck as you see here. The B-52 has assumed the role of an airborne missile launching platform. Nothing could be more confusing or more deadly to an enemy. Having softened the opposing defenses, our bomber crew now drops down to the deck to escape radar detection while penetrating the coast of the enemy. Soon, the coastline comes into view. The final test is at hand. Penetration soon encounters a change in terrain. It will be necessary to cross a range of snow-capped mountains. Each mountain may shelter an enemy fighter or missile, and our pilot watches with apprehension in the event some hidden weapon may be waiting. Independent all-purpose radar gives Ready-11 the capability of flying through valleys undetected. For added protection, our electronic countermeasure systems are searching and jamming enemy radar and communications. So far, all procedures are working effectively. lights forming the symbol of a cross, truly reminding us of the peacefulness this powerful B-52 is dedicated to preserve.